I removed the spindle so that um, I can put the other bearing, uh, the outer bearing, into the uh, housing. Because on this particular, with these particular bearings, the um, the taper bearing will come in from the outside. So that can go in now. I found in the kit there was actually a large uh, washer that uh, the, seems to be the right size for the outer casing of the bearing. So I'm going to use this this time to push the uh, outer bearing casing on. So I'm going to thread this uh, onto the long shaft, move some of these things out of the way, push that into the housing, it sits up against the bearing, and I think I can use this particular piece of tubing, it's got a thread on it, to um, come down on the um, long way to go, but it, that flange will allow me to pull that bearing in. There it is, screwed down. So now I should be able to tighten that nut and pull that outer bearing uh, uh, into the housing. get it square if I can. Yeah. There it goes. Easy. Seems tight. So that should be um, in properly now. Okay, I've uh, put the spindle in and the gear inside. Now I'm putting the bearing on the other face. That's got to be pulled on. With um, I'm going to try and use this. Push that into place onto the shaft and a long bolt on the other side with a washer that goes into the MT3 taper. So this should screw into the end of this piece of tubing. And maybe I should have used that. No, that's too short. So I'll just uh, screw that on and see how I go. Okay, the um, this space that goes on the uh, drive side of the uh, Key box down here. There's a little keyway here. Little, uh, keyway. This space I had to be turned down to 1.14 of an inch, approximately one tenth of an inch, had to be removed because the new bearings are a little bit fatter. Now I found that there's a with the keyway. I'm going to have to take cut a little bit of a keyway into this plastic because this keyway will not fit. This key will not fit in the keyway properly. And you need the keyway to engage with this gear correctly, not half. So you need the full length of the keyway. So I'm going to uh, now mill a little bit of a slot in this thing here. Uh, here I'm now um, putting the the intermediate uh, shaft in with the gear. First you put the little shifter fork in there so that uh, you can get it in. I had to pull both bearings off the casing because the flange was in the way of the bearing. There's a little hole here on this uh, adjuster and you put the fork in that hole and slide the ILO gear through. 
Well, I've now completed the assembly of the box. I've put the um, the uh, gear at the back here, which drives the thread cutting section of the lathe. The driver uh, shaft, the high low gear mechanism is inside. It's one way, and the other way. That's it. A little bit tight, but I believe that with these bearings, I've got to run them in a bit for a thing to loosen up. Taper bearings will move out slightly, depending on how tight you've made the uh, the locks. So it'll have to be done uh, with the motor running. <laughs> 